Welcome back everybody, I'm Marcio, you're watching The Urban Man. So today's quick video, we're just going to chat quickly about the MBS cockpit racing rig. Let's get into it. Alright, so here we have the MBS cockpit rig that I have set up over here. In between of all this chatting and that, I'll put little snippets of uh, me assembling the rig and how easy it was and all of that. And we're just going to chat a bit about the construction and uh, how well built it is. So I'm mainly doing this video because I try to look at some reviews online to see if this is a decent cockpit. And it is extremely difficult. Well, not extremely. It's impossible to find any video on this rig. Now, the reason being is I got this from game for you uh, I'll put the link below um, to the directly to it so you guys can check it out if you want to purchase it. Um, but basically, I phoned up game for you and I said, uh, who manufactures this? Because I can't seem to find any information um, or reviews on this rig. And uh, they said that this is an in-house brand. I don't know what MBS stands for. They couldn't tell me either. But um, yeah, and I tried Googling uh, MBS uh, cockpit simulator rigs and whatever, and I couldn't find no information regarding this rig. So that's why I'm mainly doing this video, just so it's out there, so you guys can uh, make a decision for yourself. And the thing is, you can't walk in store and check it out. No branch has this in store. It's Main, it's only online that you can actually purchase this. So let's uh, not faff around too much. Uh, let's just talk about a bit about the construction, how easy it was to build, and uh, what are my thoughts and if it's worth the money. So firstly, building it was quite easy. Uh, the instructions are simple, clear, easy to figure out and read. Uh, the only issue that I had a little bit with was uh, sometimes parts you have to pull um for example when you want to put in the seat and bolt it down from underneath you have to pull it uh, so it sometimes can be a two-man job this to assemble it so it is a little bit tricky at times to assemble but it is clear enough and understanding enough of how to assemble this actual rig it does have multiple uh, universal points for mounting your steering on your um, pedals there are multiple slots inside, so getting a fitment that's right for you is easy and simple enough. We do have adjustment on the seat. Uh, you've got the handle here, so the seat does move backwards and forth. Uh, the seat is made of a nice uh, leather all around, well, leather uh, all around, uh, bucket style racing seat, which is uh, quite comfortable. Um, obviously not as comfy as a car seat, but it is a bucket seat, so uh, I had no issue. Uh, the only Probably I, I used it on Friday for about five, six hours. Uh, the lower back a little bit sore, but uh, nothing major, not too critical. Um, but in terms of the construction, I mean, this is, uh, I didn't measure it, but I would say this is about 50 millimeter diameter uh, tubing. So the construction is freaking solid, 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 solid. I was contemplating, I was looking at the, you, you got no flex even on the pedals using it i'm not having no, any flex at all on the pedals it's got two mounting points there so that's secured nicely on here you got a bracket which is bolted on with four bolts on the side so even your steering wheel i mean um let me <laughs> this thing the construction is is solid as a rock um you got the mounting here for your gear lever let's just come down over here to the sides uh, that's secured over here with these two brackets and this thing is also extremely sturdy I have had no issues uh, the only one real little issue is with my TH8A to mount it I had to drill another hole um, it's got these two slots it's got a slot here and here and my TH8A wouldn't line up so I used the one slot and then I drilled a little hole there that was the only real modification that I had to do myself in order to get my shift lever to work but otherwise everything else here uh, fits it perfect no issues at all so i was looking at the gt light um that the next level gt light and uh in terms of like price range that was probably with 
well, okay, not, this is a little bit more pricier, but um, the GT Lite, the Flex uh, that it had, especially on the pedals, I mean, that was really off-putting. It's nice that you can fold it away, pack it away, but uh, in terms of steadiness, it's, that's just going to irritate the crap out of me um, and probably will out of you. I don't see no person that will uh, say, oh, they don't mind that Flex on those pedals um, and that camping chair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, if you if that's what you can get, then get it. Um, but if you're looking for something that's built strongly, um, construction wise, this thing is damn solid as it basically gets, uh, for me personally within this price range. Now, how much is it? Uh, I paid, um, 8,000 Rand, which equating to dollars is roughly about, uh, what's that? About $500, give or take five, $600. Uh, that's how much it cost me. So yeah, pretty, pretty awesome nice setup and cockpit over here um i think within that price range i don't know if you can get anything better i did quite a lot of research and googling beforehand uh there was another company they also had quite a nice um setup i was actually going to purchase that and the only main reason i went for this one instead um was one it was going to take me about two three weeks to get that because it is custom built but the one criticism that i had regarding to this is that that sim rig had um, a pole coming out in the middle and then coming up where your steering sits on um, so that is going to get a bit in the way with your legs and stuff you know especially if you're using a three pedal uh, i didn't really like that idea and then once i saw this i was like yeah this is it this is it so really really well constructed and constructed and built there's no other reviews that you can really find on this thing but uh, my opinion, well worth the money spent, uh, solidly built, uh, painted nicely. It wasn't all scratched up or anything. It came packaged really nicely, uh, simple instructions. And uh, for me, gets two thumbs up. Anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Have an awesome one. Cheers for now.